Hi, I'm still bitter about this one. Andrew, and this is Gaby's Toys. On today's MIA 80s Ladies, we're going to be talking about Tula from the Pirates of Dark Water, which was a two-season cartoon, two very short seasons, uh, as well as a toy line, a very short toy line, from Hasbro. Pirates of Dark Water ran on Fox Kids in 1991. Uh, it was about, you know, a wayward prince who didn't know his true lineage, discovering his father's half-sword, and that he had the special destiny to go and find the MacGuffins, just 13 treasures of rule that would destroy the namesake of the show, the Dark Water, which was this black, possibly sentient ooze that would like just straight up murder people. All the while, Prince Ren was being chased by Captain Bloth, a pirate king, who was likewise looking for these treasures in order to try to control the Dark Water, control the planet of Myrrh, where they were all from. Meanwhile, Ren was joined by two cohorts, as well as a dumb monkey lizard thing, uh, trying to, you know, get the gems, restart his whole kingdom of Octopon, bring peace back to the world. Despite a pretty, I would say, interesting environment and very paint-by-numbers plot, the show itself was quite dark. Um, it was created by Hanna-Barbera, which, you know, you would think would be very lighthearted, but at this point in the 90s, we were right on the cusp of Batman the Animated Series and then later Gargoyles, so this was almost a, a stepping stone to that. It was still very, you know, monster of the week, those monsters being terrifying. But also, you know, there was a, a grander plot and it was advancing and there was, you know, casual death. There was, again, horrible, horrible creatures that still kind of stick with me. So while not necessarily adult oriented, it was definitely in that kind of like, you know, tween coming out of the, the early 80s, becoming a young person. With every cartoon comes a toy line. And this time it was Hasbro who was tasked with doing this unfortunately, as we've seen countless times throughout the early 90s. Despite two seasons and a seemingly successful cartoon, Hasbro didn't seem to really go that hard on this. I mean, there was some advertising in comic books, but a very small number of figures and one vehicle slash kind of playset, The Wraith, which I just despised. It had this cheap cellophane sale with the actual logo of the show on top of it. It was very 1980s Halloween costume. Now, as for the reason we're here, Tula was an amazingly well-designed and interesting character who was in a 90s cartoon that was made by Hasbro. So you know where this is going by now. Tula appeared early in the series, in episode one, where she was sort of kind of posing as a barmaid who wanted to join Ren on his adventure. Uh, very, you know, very sneakily like. Uh, and as time went on, we very quickly realized that she was an ecomancer. Someone who had a great affinity to nature, animals, and someone who could control them within a limited capacity. Of course, her powers were growing by the day, and I'm sure had the series continued, we'd see, you know, some sort of like Phoenix level sorcerer here. But uh, very much someone who, who kept her secrets and was very mischievous in that regard. I say this only just because I am secretly a romantic myself. Every time there was a woman in a cartoon, I did try to pair them off. And she and Ions, the pirate, the crusty, crusty pirate, they hated each other on the show. So I think off screen, had this been a different series, and they were doing something else. In the grand scheme of things, this whole property was a blip. Uh, a lot of fans of it still sort of say like, ooh, I remember that, I enjoyed it. It has fond memories, but it's not, you know, in the, the cultural zeitgeist by any stretch of the imagination. But all that said, it's a great little cheap and cheerful line. It looks great on the shelf, very self-contained. You can get it for a reasonable price. The problem being, the cast is incomplete, as has happened so many other times. And around 2006 or 2007, we saw what would have been Wave 2 and 3, and they definitely felt into more a Skeleton Warriors kind of area, where they said, let's go neon colors, repaints, no chicks. Wave 2 and 3 actually did look pretty cool, but again, no Tula. And this is a character who had an almost kind of pirate-ish armored version early in the series and then transitioned to a more light, magical lady kind of, you know, garb later on. So she had two different looks, again, much like Skeleton Warrior's talent. But Hasbro had no intention to make either look or the character in any capacity. The final verdict isn't good. 
Uh, I looked and I don't even know who even owns the rights to this anymore, uh, be it Hasbro, Hanna-Barbera, whatever they morphed into and out of. It's hard to say. Uh, that said, no one's really sort of, you know, stepped up and decided to make this. Um, and that's too bad because Hasbro, you know, given their attitude towards women and actually, you know, just kind of building the world, I'm glad it failed. I'm glad they failed. And in this post, Playmates taken on Power Rangers, them licensing out stuff. I hope they do this more. I hope they take this property and give it to an actual doll in the room so they can make a Tula figure. I don't usually get into Custom Corner, but there is actually a very incredible Tula figure, I think within the six inch scale that Zulu 1984 has created. Tomas is very busy working for NECA lately, so I wouldn't expect him to kind of build that world further. If you are collecting the vintage line, however, I've seen this many times online where people take the Mattel Aladdin Princess Jasmine, make her pink, maybe change the head, uh, and you've got you've got a stand. It's not great, it's not perfect, but if you want to learn how to paint, that might be the best route. And that's Tula, and that's why I'm better. We got nothing or DIY, and that's pretty much our options currently at this point. Uh, I would love to say that there's you know hope for a future. You never know. We'll see. But for the time being, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay strong. Don't be bitter. And I'll see you next time.